<laughs> hello, hello, boys and girls. This is Elder Seal, of course, and welcome back to another Seven Days to Die Minecraft server episode. God damn it. <laughs> this better not fucking be Bash, man. This better not be Bash. This better be Donk with his stupid pipes. God damn it. I'm all alone on the server. It's day 20. It's gonna turn over to day 21 later today. So we got a lot of stuff we need to be doing. And one of those things are removing all these spikes and start preparing the surfaces around our house to make it less wreckable, I guess. <laughs> because I believe day 21 might be a little bit difficult, to be honest. I think we're gonna have a little bit of a difficult time. So, I, I don't really know what I wanna build yet. I've been, th I've been thinking of all kinds of plans. It's kind of hard to explain, but I've been thinking about just having a moat, like I kind of used to have before, because that kind of worked quite well, to be honest. Uh, but the problem is I'm, I'm lacking concrete, so I can't really do that in a good way, and I don't have a uh, ogre, so I can't really dig stuff out very well. I can get, remove the spikes quite easily, thanks to me having a decent fire axe, but also we're gonna build ourselves a nice little chainsaw, uh, and we do have the chainsaw blade that is uh, 600, so that is pretty goddamn amazing, I gotta say. Uh, however, though, the, the parts we have are kind of like meh. But it's the durability, so it's 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 not a big deal. And uh, another plan I had was obviously to remove all the spikes. I, I have to do that anyways, and then kind of build uh, kind of similar to Arcus. I, I think I think we can we can use Arcus as a good example here uh, because I think that was kind of um, a kind kind of a cool way of doing it uh, to kind of make it different levels. You, you still kind of make a pit, but you make it so you can easily repair everything by walking on this middle console, so to say, and then they will gradually kind of walk over one spike after another, or they might end up breaking some of these, of course, as well. You, you never know, that, that's something we're gonna have to tell later. But the problem is, since my house kind of is quite close to the road, just like Arcus is, is here, we're gonna have one area that won't be as well defended. We also kind of need to make a better way of getting into the house, Oh man, there's so many things I want to do. Holy crap, this this freaking thing is gonna have to stay a while. <laughs> God damn it, man. Why do I get all of the penises on my house? Why doesn't Good or fucking Doc get some or Badge? Badge, I guess, is, is suffering from, like, small penis complex, so he's building a huge tower. I, I don't really know why he's making it that big, because there's, there's no reason. <laughs> <laughs> There's just nothing that takes that much space, but yeah, this place is for sure not ready for day 21 hordes, so I need to start working now and uh, do something, because I'm quite afraid my shit is gonna get wrecked, to be honest. Oh la la, my handlebars, for some reason, became fucking 600. I don't know why, but that is pretty goddamn awesome, to be honest. Let's put the blade in there. There we go. We got ourselves a blue 487. That is not too bad. But that, then again, we do have pretty much everything in good quality. Let's see if our repair kit will make it a little bit better as well. Nice. Okay, so we got entity damage 51, the block damage 10, uh, bleed out 60%, noise amounts. Max speed, meter, meters per liter, all kinds of weird information here, but starting chance 92, tank size, fallout range 2.87, accuracy 89%, dismember, base chance 1, blade weapon 29, toolsmithing 58. Ah, yeah. doesn't really matter. At least we got ourselves a chainsaw. Let's, let's try to pop you out, by the way. Just realized that. I wonder how we gas it up. Maybe it's just the... Uh, The reload button had completely. Uh oh, oh, oh. It is loud as all hell, but yeah, this is gonna go quickly. Oh my god, this is gonna be so much nicer than doing this with the with the axe. Oh my god, I like this. I like this a lot. Oh my god. <laughs> This is such a huge pain in the ass. <laughs> ah, so I opted to use explosives. 
<laughs> it was way better, way better. Okay, guys, I've decided what to do, and by the way, this is uh, the progress. I've dug a little bit by hand already, uh, but I managed, I think, to blast away about 60%, so I only have to dig like 30% by hand, I think. I'm uh, gonna go with double layers of brick in towards the house, uh, double layers of bricks towards all of the sides, and then one layers of bricks in the bottom, and then I might end up uh, upgrading them as well with the cobblestone rocks. And then I think I'm gonna have one layer of uh, wall with spikes outside the small spikes and then maybe some small and some big spikes in the actual pit. Uh, it's just gonna take way too long to dig something so I can do kind of what Arcas is doing, uh, like, like with the ladder system or the step system, so to say, even though I think that would work way better than what I'm planning on doing now, slash going to do now, uh, it's, it's just gonna be too time-consuming. I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish until the day is upon us. Oh, praise Jesus, I just went up to mining level, uh, like, 92 or something like that and that was just good enough to make it so with the shovels I have as long as I have decent stamina I break all of the blocks in two hits instead of three and oh my god it made such a huge difference 30% less time for each dirt block oh man this is like a a blessing man ah oh, it feels amazing <laughs> I just wanted to share that with ah, a little bit of a daytime horde, really small one, I think just six or seven zombies surprised me a little bit, uh, caused me to bleed on sons of bitches. So, uh, underneath these four blocks, there's actually four more of uh, these uh, clay blocks, or, or brick blocks, and I've upgraded them, so it's gonna be five deep for these two by two support pillars, and then it's going to be, I think four deep with everything else. I think that's what I'm going for. Uh, and then I will just change it later if if necessary, if you know what I mean. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, almost all of the digging done. Uh, there's still gonna be some digging towards the house, of course, as we need a too thick layer there. And there's gonna be some more digging here because we're gonna want a layer here as well that's too thick, but... Uh, we're pretty close to getting finished. I might actually dig out one layer more here, just to be able to have it three blocks in the moat, so I can have two rows of spikes and one spikeless row, so I can go down and I like, clear out uh, uh, blocks, like uh, gore blocks, and uh, kill off zombies and all of that kind of good stuff. Okay guys, uh, welcome back. Things are starting to look pretty damn good. Almost completely done with the house side of things. I'm a little bit on the fence at the moment. I'm wondering if I should just have unupgraded bricks here, I think so, and have the upgraded bricks like as a lost level or, or whatever, or lost defense for them to bring through, and I think I might dig out one more row here just so I got a little bit room to play with. I actually am pretty fortunate, it's one, two, three, four, five blocks already. So that means even if I put up a two by two wall here, like so, like that and like that, I'm still gonna have three blocks to play with, but I feel safer if I have four down here and I can actually have three rows of small spikes or maybe two rows of small spikes and one row of big spikes uh, that are fully upgraded closest to the house. So if they do make it and start breaking down the house, at least they're gonna stand on those spikes quite a long time and take quite a lot of damage from the, the lost two rows of the small spikes. That's at least what I'm hoping, but yeah, uh, we got some freaking big work done here. I'm quite surprised how much I've managed to accomplish in pretty much only two hours. Whoa, I feel pretty OP right now with my steel pickaxe. Look at this. Three hits and I wrecked an entire one of these, and this is what I get. So with three hits, I get 103 stone and 41 or 42 iron fragments. That's pretty goddamn good, I would say. Oh my god, this is so time-consuming and resource-consuming, <laughs> holy heck. I thought I would be done a long time ago. I've already been at it for four hours now. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm still gonna have to go and uh, fetch a little bit more uh, stone for sure and also clay because we don't have any more of the cobblestone rocks. Uh, we have six but you need ten for each block so yeah and I might actually need more clay 
just for the actual like walls as well because I only think I have about 240 including these 40 I have on me and I think I need maybe 350 more actually I'm not I'm not quite sure oh bugger oh shit I got about another hour or 30 minutes work it feels like uh, I need to get some more clay and I need to get some more stone and Avi is logged in and says it's three minutes of real life time that's about three hours in game or something I'm, I'm not quite sure what he means with that but uh, it shouldn't take just three minutes of real life time until it is day 21, but maybe it just like flips when the proper time is happening or something. I, I'm not quite sure, but I'm scared. I'm freaking scared because I am not even close to being finished. I like I said, I I need a lot more preparation time. God damn it! So I guess I'm gonna have to hold them off during uh, the night, especially the first night, and then try to to fix stuff as much as possible. Oh shit! Bitch, getting a little bit too close for my comfort. Oh, you know what? I got perfect resolution. Get wrecked. <laughs> this is so much better than any other uh, alarmed weapon. Oh my god, so good, so good. Okay, so uh, I don't really have time with you guys. Sorry, uh, I gotta go. I gotta, I gotta try to prepare so my house doesn't get ruined. Oh, crippity crap! <laughs> the frame rates are around 27. I don't know really what's going on, but something is definitely causing lagging like crazy. Okay, now I'm getting 37, so that's slightly better. Uh, night time is here. It's not quite day 21 yet though, luckily. I have enough stuff now, I think, to fix everything. I decided to actually upgrade at least the two lower rows, uh, because I saw that just like eight or nine hits brought one of these things down to half health uh, from zombies, so... I uh, definitely want to have them triple, if you know what I mean, because it gives them, uh, or at least... Let's see, 200% more health. Yeah, yeah, that's like three, three times the normal one. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, I'm still freaking out, to be honest. Because <laughs> I don't know how much I can get ready. But I think I have all of the resources I need. All I need to do now is just build quick as hell during this night now. I'm down to 22 FPS. What the heck? And then just hope for the best. It is officially day 21, as you can see, it is after 4 in the morning and it still hasn't gone back to 20, so... Tonight, we're getting hit. Luckily, I got pretty much 30 minutes like I was hoping for, so I think I'm gonna be able to finish. Uh, you can already tell there's a horde day. Already like 10 of them already passed so you can't see them anymore But here's another 10 instead of the 5 to 10 that normally come during a normal day So this is gonna be interesting. It seems like I am going to be able to finish I have placed all of the spikes around the house that I need to I still haven't made anything with that door though However, I need to kind of look at that and yeah, then we have this thing God damn it. <laughs> Uh, but I think I'm gonna place some uh, small spikes and a row of the thicker spikes down here. Let me show you. Uh, we're gonna have the thick bastards right in here up against the wall. Uh, they might actually be able to touch that, but it, it shouldn't be a big issue, I hope. Uh, I don't quite remember if it's scrap iron I need to upgrade these and wood, but I think so. So I'm gonna place these and then I'm also gonna place a small uh, two, two row of the smaller spikes. I can run next to the wall and get out if I fall down, but it's, it's never gonna be good to fall down here. Uh, whatsoever, but at least I won't make the mistake Arcus have done many many times it seems and fall down on his own spikes and have no way of actually getting out without dying from the spikes. <laughs> I can't believe it man. Arcus, Arcus is a smart guy. He's a really bright guy. I don't understand how he can make such like noob mistakes to be honest. Oh shit, zombies coming, damn it. Okay, so I'm gonna finish this and see you guys when we start getting a little bit of hordes and stuff. Nighttime comes, winter comes. Uh, it's pretty ridiculous. It actually costs, I think, 30 scrap iron to upgrade one of these big uh, 
big spikes fully. So I actually ran out of uh, scrap iron. I used up all I had in the furnace and I wrecked a bunch of my guns even. So some of these here on the edges only got slight upgrades to them. But uh, you should be able to kind of see my my dream come into f f f fulfillment? F fulfillment or whatever you call it. Holy crap, the FPS is very cinematic right now. And uh, yeah, this is dangerous. I think we're gonna put... The just in case, we're gonna put two bars here. You know what, we're gonna actually put three bars. I don't think I gotta be too scared about these things. Uh, being able to make it up here. But you, you never know. Let's have one there as well. <laughs> okay, yeah, I should definitely be able to make it. I don't know though, I think... No, nah, no, nah, we're gonna remove this thing. I think this thing might actually make sure they can jump up here, to be honest. Uh, not quite sure, but yeah, we, we're done. Oh, holy hell. I... I think I might have needed more spikes. <laughs> I think I needed more spikes. <laughs> okay, we are going to take all our magnum bullets. We are going to take all of our sniper rifle bullets. And we are going to grab... Oh, I found an AK schematic, by the way, earlier today. Uh, forgot to, got to tell you guys about that. Whoa. There's mucho bad shit here. Holy crap. Holy goddamn. The FPS are low. They're very cinematic. Holy heck, man. Holy heck. <laughs> Whoa. Damn. I haven't seen a single feral yet, but I bet you there's one running around down in the pit somewhere. Yep, there, there he is. There's the first feral for you. Holy god damn it. He just blew up and I think damaged the feral. Oh, whoa, the lag is just so immense. Oh, oh, that feral, he's, he's just crawling. He's begging for me to, to put him out of his misery, I guess. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh, there's another one in the pit right next to him. I think that one is dead. Oh, yeah. I, I, I don't know what kind of a weapon could, could deal with this quick and easy, but... Yeah, there's... There's, there's much bad shit. There is much, much bad shit here. Uh, we gotta kill that copper before he wrecks too many spikes and crap. Whoa, the cinematic FPS, man, just makes it even more difficult. If I had a, a clear 60 FPS here all the time, things would be a little bit more easy, I think. Whoa, I am, I'm, I, okay, I'm gonna have to stop recording. I can't actually care, take care of this otherwise. I'm screwed. Ooh, I think I just got a feral that I might be able to loot without getting massacred. Ah, oh, damn it, just magnum parts. Son of a beach. Oh, hello there, copper. I think I killed it. Yes, I did. Oh my god, a cinematic FPS. Ah, it's it's every console peasant's dream. <laughs> Holy shit, but so far my place stood up pretty good. This is just one night out of many to come though, so that's that's the price you pay for, for having... Oh. Landed on a gore block locally. We gotta watch out for that. I think we had gore. Yeah, we have a zombie on on the actual place here. There we go. Whoa, the lag is just so immense, man. Holy creep ed crap, man. God diggity damn. It's just it's just it's just crazy, man. It's just goddamn crazy. Uh, okay, that stinks. Uh, but hopefully, maybe I can keep some of the ferals alive. Uh, because we I did have three or four up there, as you could see earlier, but I didn't really have a clear opportunity to to loot those guys that died down here, and they have already turned into to crap, basically. And uh, I don't know. I have the chainsaw on my hotbar mostly. 
Oh yeah, we need to. Oh yeah, we need to upgrade those blocks for sure. <laughs> Otherwise, it's it's a risk that the spitters or the cops are going to to just uh, wreck my place whilst uh, I'm standing on it and falling down in the pit. For example, when the ferals was there, is probably one of the worst things that can happen. I would guess. So let's give it a little bit on upgrade job. Oh, whoa, it lagged so much I couldn't even upgrade. What the hell? <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, but it seems to be calming down a little bit. Hopefully there's gonna be some more ferals. Uh, that would be nice. Second feral of the night. Damn it. Magnum frame, son of a gun. Okay, so the place seems to be holding up just fine. Arcus's place, though, is quickly becoming an issue for the server. Uh, because they're right now, I think, underneath Good's house, or very close to being underneath Good's house. And that is mucho bad. Can you hear them? They're literally down under here. I'm gonna try to, like, get them to go out, but I'm not quite sure if I can make that happen, to be honest. Hopefully I can make them, uh path to me. At least the dog is. Uh, hopefully the rest will come out. But yeah, I, I gotta I gotta stop recording now for just because of FPS reasons. It's just it's just too damn cinematic, man. Too damn cinematic. Okay, I am very, very happy I decided to upgrade my place. Because it seems like every single thing is pathing to me instead of Avidia or somewhere else on the server. So uh, this uh, this was fortunate, I guess, uh, because, like me, man, there's uh, been a lot of things that uh, want to wreck my shit, for sure. Let's see if we can't loot this uh, police. Oh, oh, shit. That ain't good. That ain't good at all. Oh, shit. Broke our damn leg. Oh, and we're bleeding, and we're infected. It's all good though, since it's daytime, but man, this this was rough. This 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 was rough. Okay, I cleaned out the lost zombies underneath Good's uh, house almost, and uh, this is the last guy left from this night. Come on! Oh, only Magnum thinks, dang it. Ay, 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 ay. Uh, but yeah, my, my place uh, kept up really well, uh, especially for being such a kind of crappy place. I noticed that I can, I, I don't know how, but I can make, I can up upgrade my stuff into concrete. I, it just happened randomly whilst I was fixing spikes. Uh, my stupid leg broke again, by the way, when I had to clean out. But yeah, look at this. Look at that down there. I don't know what the hell happened, to be honest. So weird. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this episode. I'm gonna keep on the recording and stay on the server for quite some bit more. I think an hour or two more and try to, to defend off this horde, of course, and also try to loot some of the ferals. Uh, but uh, this episode, I think, it is pretty much done. I think I'm gonna remove that one in the next episode as well. Anyways, as always, thank you guys so very much for watching. Have an awesome day or a wonderful day. Bye-bye.